do you feel like where Clemson is right now when it comes to 2024, it's very much a if the quarterback position can be somewhat close to what it has been, then it can be a game changer. Does it come down to Cade, in your opinion? No, I don't. I, I think it comes down to the receivers and mm. Cade and the offensive line. And I'm going to say what I say every time when it comes to Clemson. Just take a couple people out of the portal. <laughs> Just a couple. <laughs> one impact receiver, one offensive lineman at a key spot, like just a couple. You don't have to do what Florida State's doing. I understand why you don't want to mess with your culture and your continuity. But the reason you're not as good anymore is because you don't fix the things that you can fix immediately and other schools fix them more efficiently than you. So mm. that's my concern. I don't know that they ever get back to national title con contention unless they are willing to build their roster the way everybody else is. Mm. And it doesn't mm. like, it, like you don't have to go to an extreme because sure. I, I would argue that Kirby Smart at Georgia is not overly reliant on the transfer portal. Mm -hmm. But when they need somebody like they lose Brock Bowers, they go get Benjamin Urosic from Stanford, who looks the most like Brock Bowers of anybody <laughs> who played last year. Like. <laughs> It's, there's no shame in that. Mm -hmm. It's not dirty. It's not against the rules. Like everybody is doing that and you don't have to do it to an extreme because I agree with Dabo when he says the way Clemson recruits is special. It leads to a certain culture. It leads to a certain ability to develop players better. He's right. It doesn't mean you can't find two or three players a year who will fit into that culture and who will help you at positions of need immediately. Yeah, and, and it's going to be interesting, you know, just to see how does that evolve, how does that change? Because, uh, I, I mean, I think you're right. It's just one of those things where people are getting more talented quicker and not having to rely on development uh, when you bring somebody out of high school. I mean, these are guys that are proven, ready to go right now. How about on the defensive side for the Tigers? I mean, loaded, a lot of young guys that are now, you know, going to be sophomores and playing at a high level. And even, you know, a guy like Sammy Brown, who I know you guys had really high uh, on your boards there, I mean, I expect that to be a top five defense at the end of the day. Yeah, and Sammy Brown was one of those, even before he committed to Clemson, where you're like, this is a Clemson player right mm. here. This, this, this dude's going to Clemson. Like, he's from Georgia. He's really good. He just sort of fits that mold. Like, but then Peter Woods is another one who, who's just fantastic. The next great Clemson D lineman. And yeah, this is where, this is where the good stuff is with that, the way they recruit. Like, this is where you get guys who buy in, who fit perfectly. And so, yeah, I, I'm very curious to see Clemson against Georgia right off the bat. You know, how does that defense stand up? I, I'm, I don't know that Clemson's going to be able to score enough on Georgia to, to, to beat them. But if that defense can, can hold up against Georgia's offense, there's nobody else on that schedule that's going to scare them. Right.